Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Manta Queen and in today's video I am sharing with you one of my favorite Thanksgiving desserts and it is our strawberry shortcake or a punch bowl. Guys, this is just a mix, uh, just a layer of our nice and moist cake with a delicious strawberry filling and a homemade whipped cream. So without wasting much of your time, let's get right into today's video. Welcome back friends. So today I am doing something a little different. I am going to be mixing the white cake and our strawberry cake. Of course I'm using Duncan Hines. I'm using half of each. You could just go with the classic white cake which is what you would typically use. So here I have half of the cake mix for the white cake and half of the strawberry cake mix. And to that I will be adding a 3.4 ounce pack of instant cheesecake pudding mix. This is going to be so delicious. It's going to add a lot of richness to this. I'm just going to split the pack um, in the strawberry and also the white cake mix. So just one pack of that like you would typically use for one box. Just stir that in to mix all the dry ingredients and here we go. Put it aside. Now for our wet ingredients I will be using four eggs. So technically I'm adding an extra egg to the pack um, as required and I'm also going to be using one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Vanilla works best in this recipe. And I'm also using some vegetable oil today and nut butter. Yes, I chose vegetable oil because this works better than butter for um, strawberry cake mix. This is going to be really, really soft. You will see the difference. So for each half pack of cake mix, I will be adding two eggs, one fourth cup of vegetable oil, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's just all the ingredients split into two. So technically you need four eggs, one uh, half a cup of vegetable oil, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now here I also have one cup of heavy whipping cream that I'm going to split into two for both cake mixes. Now you can use whole milk, you can use buttermilk, you can use any type of milk. Just don't use water as the box instructs. So just go ahead and do that. Once I get that I will go ahead and add it to the two mixes. Again you could just keep it simple and just go with the classic white cake and um add all your ingredients and mix it per usual. Now I'm going in with my hand mixer. Since I'm going, I'm using um, heavy whipping cream. You're gonna see that I'm gonna beat this and the batter is gonna be so light and fluffy. That's exactly what I want. I want a really nice and airy cake, not a dense cake at all because we're gonna use this cake for layering. So I do this and I beat it on low to medium speed for two and a half minutes. And I'm going to go do the same thing with the white cake mix. Same ingredients, just split in the middle. And also beat that until you have a nice, airy, and fluffy batter. Now, our oven is preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And today I'm going to be using our 13 by 18 baking pan. This is just because I want the cake to be as thin as possible because I'm going to cut them into small cubes and the thinner the better. If you do not have this size pan a 13 by 18 go ahead and use two 9 by 13 baking pans okay and you will get the same results. You just want it to be um, really thin so it will be easy to cut them into cubes. So now I'm just trying to form a little something something over here. I'm trying to make like a little swirl. I don't want to mix all of them together even though I want both flavors so I'm just going to try to swirl them so that when we cut it you'll be able to see the strawberry peeking through and also that white cake. So just try to level it as much as possible so that your cake will bake evenly. Now here we go. This is what we're working with and now it's ready to go into the oven and I'm baking at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and make our strawberry filling. Now here I have 16 ounces of fresh strawberries. That's just a big pack that I got at Walmart. I went ahead and cut them and to this I am adding one teaspoon 
of sugar now I'm only doing this because the sugar will help the strawberry to sweat out its own juices and it will be nice and delicious okay just that and just mix it as you're mixing it you'll be able to visibly see that it's getting moist and not as dry as it was and please make sure you wash your fresh strawberries fresh produce are really dirty so what I do I soak it in vinegar I did soak it in vinegar and water for about 10 minutes then I rinsed everything off and just cut them now to this I will be adding some lemon zest this lemon goes really well with strawberries they both were match made in heaven so just zest up about just one teaspoon of zest not too much and let me tell you when your guests taste this they will taste something so different but would not know where the taste is coming from and that is the whole trick of this video all right so here is our strawberries as you can see and i will still go ahead and cut up that lemon and squeeze half of it into our strawberry mixture that lemon and the sugar will just help the strawberry to form its own natural syrup really nice and tasty now to that i'm gonna add one pack i think this is a um, 20 21 ounce can of our duncan hines strawberry pie filling it is made of whole strawberries and it is really nice and delicious and not too sweet which is why i love it i like to incorporate uh, fresh strawberries I want more of that fresh strawberries but I also do like the taste of this canned strawberry pie filling so I like to add both if you have never tried adding the fresh strawberries please do it as instructed and you would see the difference your guests will be so happy if you do add this to your holiday menu Thanksgiving Christmas it is so perfect for Christmas by the way because of all the reds and the whites the colors are just beautiful but I always had it for thanksgiving my girlfriend used to host thanksgiving when we were in college and she would always always make this because she knew that i love it so once we get it all incorporated looking beautiful put it in the refrigerator and just in time our cake is out of the oven guys let me tell you it was so nice and so so soft i am going to be showing you what it looks like in a minute but for now we need to let it cool down completely can you see that it is so soft really really soft so now it has cooled down all the way to room temperature now I have a tip for you I did not have time to let this sit in the refrigerator but please do let it sit in the refrigerator for about at least an hour so that you'll be able to cut it evenly and it would not break up or have any crumbs whatsoever I mean I was good but if I had more time I would have let it sit in the refrigerator so that it will come out so whole those cubes will be so perfect especially if you're doing it for like an event or so but you can see how soft that is can you see that bounce it bounces right back so so delicious you would love it it is not salty not too sweet just perfect and you can see those pops of colors peeping through now the last part is to go ahead and make a homemade whipping cream now you could do this or simply just buy a cool whip but for this recipe i will be using one and a half cups of powdered sugar and to that i'm adding a pinch of cream of tartar and this is just one fourth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar and what this is going to do is to help stabilize uh cool uh, whipping cream when it's done now here I am adding three cups of cold heavy whipping cream all right fresh is better and I am also adding one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract once we have all of that incorporated go ahead with your mixer now please if you have a stand mixer just use it I don't know why I did not use my stand mixer I was tired by just <laughs> standing there and holding my mixer even though I was not mixing anyway you just want to continue beating this until it forms nice stiff peaks that's all you want once it get nice stiff peaks like that you want to go ahead and stop if you keep beating it you're gonna have butter and that's not what we're trying to make okay nice fluffy look like a cloud you see it we are done now it is time to assemble a beautiful shortcake aka punch bowl as some of us know it you can layer it in any order that you like but this is just how i like to do mine so sit back and enjoy the beauty and here we go guys moment of truth Ta-da! 
<laughs> this is what we got now let me tell you if you're working to a party a holiday dinner and they serve you this whether it's in a punch bowl a trifle bowl those mason jars or a cute little glass like i have here tell me why you would not want it except you're allergic to strawberries it is so beautiful it looks so good so appealing to the eyes and let me tell you something it is even more delicious than it looks trust me on that one if you want to add one dessert to your holiday menu pick this this is going to do you a lot of good it has the right amount of sweetness those lemons just cut down the sweetness a tad bit and then we made our own whipping cream the bomb thank you guys so much for watching and until i catch you in my next one stay safe stay blessed and love on your families while you still have them i love you guys so much